Hello everybody, welcome back to this next episode of Walking Dead. So last time we were in the sewers and we were trapped, but we managed to get around some walkers and well now we're in a, well it looks like a nuclear fallout shelter, which is just perfect because it looks like we have a bunch of supplies and uh, it looks like it could be a potentially safe location for us. However, um, I'm not sure who else is in here or what else is in here, so I guess we're going to find out in this episode. wonder if someone's living down here. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too, Lee. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna have to come down here in shifts and just raid the hell out of this place. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go through the door and see if. Well, let's see. Oh shit! There's a whole bunch of people down here. Uh oh. Hello. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? Not they from don't Crawford. Lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Worse. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there make me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Okay. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Oh, what the f <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that went really well, guys, don't you think? Let's try that again. Take two. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep oh. back, or I swear I'll shoot. This time I should probably try to it's take the right. gun. It's wow, okay. that was amazing. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. <laughs> we got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh, damn. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. <laughs> How did you find your way down here? 
Few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here, get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? God, I hate that woman. Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? <sighs> no. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. That's nice. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Can we uh, like take any food while you know while we're at it? Man, it's too bad there are people here. Totally would have been like the perfect spot to hide out. Tons of food, tons of supplies. Sealed off from everyone else. Oh shit, I thought, I thought they were gonna make me walk Clementine? all the way back. Clem? We made it. There's little miss crawls Bolly. on buildings. Oh hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> That's nice. Is he a doctor? I don't know. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't hold on your awesome tool. Dang it. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Oh, crap. Much worse. We have to bash have his head in, too? Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. She's so pushy. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Like, he don't have to do anything. But hey, whatever. I guess he's a good dude. He swore the Hippocratic Oath. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Yeah, without, like, meds or supplies. Alright, let's take a look at him. I, I work know. better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. He's gonna eat him. Don't leave him alone. Clementine? Clementine? Oh crap, please don't tell me Clem is missing. That would not be good. Um, okay, we came from the bedroom. Let's check out the study. I mean, what could possibly go wrong in the study? Clementine, huh? you in here? Where is she? It's a nice room. I wouldn't mind studying in here. Aww. But where is she? It's adorable. <laughs> it's me. Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. I guess that's good. Is she in the cabinet? Clem, you in here? <laughs> I don't like this music. It's creepy. It's like bad things are gonna happen. Clementine? Sofa. I'll have time to rest later. Doesn't yeah, I look figured. Like she's in here. All right, gotta check a different room. 
Just might as well check the bathroom, huh? Clementine, you here? Clem? This is a bathroom? Damn, it's a nice bathroom. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> well, don't tell me I could do it then. Is this the bedroom we just came from? Or is that a different bedroom? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? <laughs> Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Well, I think I might. Man, what's her deal anyway? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Well, I guess he's kind of got a one-track mind right now, but... Sorry, Lee. I kind of like to examine stuff. Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. All right, just just checking. You know, you never know. What other info? Oh, I see, so that's the same door as that one. Okay, oh, look at this. That's the, oh, that's the attic. Don't see her out there. This is getting intense. <laughs> Yell to the attic door. Clementine, you up there? God oh, dang it, shit! Where could she be? Kenny shut that after we found the boy. Don't think Clementine could get up there on her own. Yeah, probably not. Although she is a crafty little Clem? shit. Clementine. All right, we checked. That bathroom and that bedroom. We didn't check this bedroom though. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone. Oh, okay. So that's where the doctor is. God, poor guy. All right, guess we'll go check over here. Or nope, we've hit an invisible barrier. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a window, I don't really know. Guess we'll go downstairs. Maybe Clem's down there. Clementine! Come out! Please! Yeah, seriously, where the shit? Now I'm starting to panic, and I'm not even the kind of guy that likes to panic. Here's some people. And <laughs> he's Kenny? drinking. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? <laughs> Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, have you guys seen Clem? You seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Oh my god. This is getting intense. 
Clementine? Clementine! Oh my god, where the shit is she? Come on, oh, look at the grate. Oh, she's definitely in there. The hell happened back here? She's gotta be in there. Uh, right, 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 right. Doors covered in pies. Don't think anyone came in through there. She probably crawled through the gate. Err. Oh, crap. Here goes. Oh, Jesus. What the heck was she doing in there? doing in there? Exploring? And look! Oh. Look what I found! Tell me it's a boat. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Heck yeah. It's a friggin' boat. Look at that. <laughs> this was here the whole time? I know, right? Candy, look. Well, I mean, don't waste the booze. I mean, come on, let's, let's be reasonable here. At least put the cat back on it, you know? Hey, Doc. How's it going? Old Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I don't mind. She's kind of cute. <laughs> well? You want the good news or the bad news? I always hear bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. <laughs> bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Alright. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We're in a friggin' city. We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. Crap. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. We have well, to go to Crawford. What about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. There we go. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, we do. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but 
I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. Oh, shut up, I don't up, know man. about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Come on, Ben, we step go up. Tonight, under cover of dark, I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? <laughs> is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Yeah, it is. Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. I don't either. <laughs> Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, God. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Don't make me pick. God dang it. <laughs> oh, this is a big friggin' decision. <sighs> she might come in handy. Hell, Rick Rick had his kid come with him in the show. Alright. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. God, I don't know if that was a good thing or not, but I guess we're taking a risk. I'm sure there's pros and cons to each one of those decisions. Guess we'll find out, huh? Heck yeah. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. A boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Crap. You, you Clint, Krista. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, it's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Great. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh, hi. Hey. is this? This is Bree. She can help us. <sighs> Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. I like her. I like Molly. I don't like Krista. I don't hold like up just a sec. the new woman. Ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? 
If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Huh. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Here we go! Gosh dang it. This is gonna be nuts. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, it goes double for you. All right. This is it. Okay, I guess we gotta... Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> okay, this is it, guys. 